Well, folks, at this point in the show, I'm in the liquor store on the banks of the Liffey in Dublin on a Nashville songwriter's night, and I've got two of the most important fellas from Nashville with me. <laughs> now, I've got Dan and I've got Wayne. Now, Dan, first of all, tell me who you represent. Um, we both work for the world-famous Grand Ole Opry, Phil. The Grand Old Opry, and Wayne yes. the same. Yes. And your titles, Dan? Um, I'm Director of Marketing and Communication there. And I'm the Director of Sales. Two millionaires from Nashville <laughs> in Dublin, and they've had a few drinks. We've all had a few drinks. It's a great night here, isn't it? A great it, time it's here. It's been a great now, time. as I say, country music, the home of country music, and I play a lot of videos on the show and artists, and most of them originated from the Grand Old Opry. These lads, between them, have spent how many years on the Opry, Dan? Uh, between us, more than 30, I guess. Yeah, I started in 88, and Dan started in... 98. Right. Yeah. Seeing every major artist there, these are the men beyond the success of the Opry. The Opry's been going a long time, <laughs> but I'm telling you, these lads, they live and die. They said it's the best job in the world, isn't it, Dan? Yeah, you're right. That's you're it. Right. And Dan, as we were saying now, when people go to Nashville, all the country music fans go to the Opry. But there's lots of people who go to America that might be watching the show that are not country music fans, but they have got to go to the Opry. And tell the people why, Dan. Well, sure. It's a, it's a show like nothing else. You'll see the new stars, superstars, and legends of country music. And you're going to see always at least five or six, maybe even up to 12 or 14 artists. So it's a parade of um, what you know might have been happening in country music 20 years ago to the yeah. voices that are on the charts today, the folks yeah. that you're playing um, yeah. every night on your and, show. And I had the pleasure of being in Nashville at the Grand Ole Opry not long ago, and uh, it's one of a legend. I see Jimmy Dickens there, little Jimmy Dickens, and George Hamilton, both since passed away. They but have. the archives at the Opry, look, they must be worth millions. You've got so many legends in them archives, and I'm proud to play them on the show. And Dan here is going to put me in contact with the people there, so we get the footage over, promote the Opry, not that it needs promoting because as you say every night it's packed from all over the world Indeed. travelers from all over the world come and see us and you know that 90 year legacy is amazing it is yeah and and dan as i said you you said to me there you could watch the opry every night couldn't you and not be bored with it oh absolutely i mean i still love to go to a show and it's great to sit backstage and see what happens but it's also fun just to go find a seat um, out front and, and watch a segment or two of the show because it never gets old. You're always going to see um, somebody new that's you know just on the on the scene that's making their opera debut, which is always fun. In addition to some of the folks who've been there celebrating 50 years with the yeah. show. Yeah, and you're giving so you're giving the opportunities to so many new artists. And we were talking earlier on to like Carson Peters, who's a young lad there, mm -hmm. absolutely unbelievable. And it's through people like yourself at the opera that are, that are promoting these young artists and bringing the country there. And because you play all types, all styles, and the young acts that are coming through, some that we mentioned tonight, Striking Matches was one, sure. that are over here, uh -huh. absolutely brilliant. And you Isn't just featured them on your show, didn't you? You feel? did, yeah, yeah, you did, Wayne, you know what I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. And I know the viewers watching in tonight, if they head for Nashville, and I'm not saying it because you're here, if you don't see the Grand Old Opry, you ain't seen Nashville, have you? And you're stupid. <laughs> 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 then will be after you. But as I said, I, I asked you earlier on to like Wayne, uh, highlights. It's silly to pick a highlight because they're all highlights. So many. And you know, every show's different and there's always magical moments that happen at the Opry. As we were talking, because of that great blend of, of new artists along with legendary artists that many times some of those younger artists have an icon that they've looked up to their whole life. Yep. And they end up being on the same show and organically they end up singing together. Yeah. It just creates a magical moment every time at the opera. And, and some of the artists on there, I was talking tonight to some of the artists that are performing here, and one of the ladies mentioned, I couldn't believe, was um, Ashley Monroe. Sure. Oh, unbelievable. I was actually playing Ashley on our shows here. Before we were playing the All-American, I was playing on the Film Act show, mm -hmm. and I can't even tell you the number of people who wrote in. There was a song called Like a Rose. Right. And unbelievable feedback so we're going to Nashville now in May and I hope we meet up with you lads and I'll buy you a beer because you've been buying the Guinnesses over here you're having a great time where are you heading off to now the show will be going out in a few weeks but where are you heading off to tomorrow um, we're heading to London to London uh, the C to C country to country concerts that will be happening at the O2 Centre so it. lots of country music fans for this weekend and then. when do you head back to Nashville Dan uh, we're there on Monday head back on Monday back to Monday a hope bit... to be back here soon though so back again good, soon good yeah. place to be 
a good there you go in Ireland a good place to be on the banks of the Liffey you know there you go. the only thing the traffic outside is horrendous isn't it it is, traffic. but we're, we're having a great time inside. Not I've even been worried about the traffic. Phil, so <laughs> <laughs> I just well, stayed out of the, out of the streets if well, I could. It is an honour on our shows in the UK. Since CMT has gone off the air over here now, and we've got now the Keep It Country Music Show, Sky TV are supporting it, the 192 Showcase Channel, extending the show because the country music from America and USA and Nashville in particular is so popular. And I've got to say, on our show, finally, we can play all the videos from the artists and even the big Universal Music send them in, but you can't beat the footage mm -hmm. from the Grand Old Opry. Well, you can't wow. beat the show. And we really do appreciate you and all of the country music fans over here for supporting country music, but also for visiting us yeah. at the home of country music. Well, I can tell you, we, well, I can tell you we love it. And the one that we're going to in May is completely sold out. And we're already organising in Dublin how we met up today. We met up, we're going to go back there in November. And we're going to drop into the Grand Old Opry because it's absolutely unbelievable. It's a pleasure meeting you lads on here tonight. Now, go and enjoy the rest of the evening. I can see you're raring to get Thank there. Thank you, yeah. And you're not driving, so you can drink as much as you want. We need to go spend <laughs> our million dollars each. Right? A million dollars, there you go, they've admitted it. Millionaires on the, on the Keep It Country Music Show. Folks, from Dan and from Wayne, have a great evening.